The cicada invasion is coming to parts of our area. A huge brood of the insects will emerge from the ground any day now. And you won't just see them, you'll hear them too. NBC10 Delaware reporter Tim Furlong goes digging for answers. This is the one that's going to be coming out. Cicadas that look like this are about to take over a portion of our area. So this tree is 18 years old. Dr. Brian Conkle is the University of Delaware's bug expert. He says Philly won't likely get the 17-year cicadas. Northern Delaware and far southeastern PA will get loads of them. I mean, we're talking hundreds of thousands to millions. And those bugs, you're going to hear them. They're loud, like 100 decibels lawnmower loud. But the craziest part is they're old. They're called brood tanner, brood Roman numeral X. It's brood X, you know, bam. <laughs> They were born up in our trees in 2004. George W. Bush was president, T.O. and the Eagles were awesome, and your cell phone wasn't yet smart. Shortly after their birth, they fell to the ground and buried themselves, feeding off underground roots. This kind of cicada only comes out every 17 years. So yeah, the cicadas, they've been chilling underground for the last 17 years, but when the soil hits 64 degrees, they're going to climb back out of the ground and go back up the trees. So anything in through here, you'd start seeing holes pop up. Dr. Brian is like geeking out right now. He says if you're in the brood 10 zone, you'll soon see holes popping up or even see the cicadas themselves heading for the surface as you start to plant flowers. Once they're up in the trees, the males make all the noise. It's a mating call to the ladies. They're like, hey, check me out. I got this really cool tune. Once the females lay their eggs in thin branches, they die. They leave us piles of crunchy dried skins on the ground and their babies will then fall back to the earth where they'll bury themselves until 2038. Dr. Kunkel says while you might find the next few weeks annoying, the cicadas actually help aerate our soil with their holes. They don't hurt most trees and animals like to eat them. When exactly will they come out? Well, you'll know. If you are near a wooded area, you will not be able to avoid hearing them. In Newark, Tim Furlong, NBC 10 News.